So Unity Bank made headlines recently uh, when, you know, in the news that uh, there was late filing of your 2017 and nine months, but then you did put out a statement almost immediately uh, clearing that up. But could you just, in a nutshell, just help us understand what went wrong? Why did you, did you not send it to the CBN in good time or was it just a delay from, what, what, what happened? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the, uh, the filing of our uh, financial statements to the Nigerian Stock Exchange uh, was a little bit delayed because of uh, just as we have put out outside, they were undergoing some corporate actions, and uh, those corporate actions are all you know put together just okay. to, uh, to, just to ensure that we are able to close some of the transactions we are pursuing, and uh, we sought the collaboration of our primary regulators as well as uh, the stock exchange as well during those course uh, during, during those intervening periods. So it's actually a collaboration, something that we are working together because we need to delight our stakeholders and to ensure that what we are pursuing are actually you know, focused on the right course without much uh, delay. So okay. that's, those are some of the things we are pursuing. Okay. Now for the numbers, the 2017 full year and the nine months uh, 2018, the numbers were, I mean, looking across your key income lines with significant decline. So what would you attribute this broad decline in the numbers? Yeah, yeah, you, yes, you can, when you look at the financial, you might see some, quite some declines, as it were. But really, because of uh, some of the things we're doing, as well as, I mean, you know that we try to clean the books as well. We did quite a lot of uh, corporate actions, just as we're noting uh, in our uh, correspondence as well. You know, the bank came into being in 2006, almost 12 years ago, and uh, quite a lot of, uh, all those legacy issues and some of those okay. things that are still inhibiting our financial statements. So we have to take those corporate actions. We have a goodwill of about uh, uh, 16.4 billion that were aggregated during the merger. Okay. But we know that, you know, given the state and all the events that transpired over that long period, there's no need to, to carry those goodwill. So we have to take those corporate actions and, and tell ourselves, look, let's you know, take out anything that going to create a kind of uh, sustainable financial strength even for the enterprise. So that's okay. why we wrote off the entire goodwill, 16.4 billion. Without that writing of the, of the goodwill, would have been in profit as it were. Hmm. So okay. we have, uh, if you see the loss, loss of 14 billion, goodwill write off was about 16.4. So really, operationally, we are okay. But because of those legacy issues, and during that year as well, we wrote, we cleaned, we cleaned up all our MPS as well. So the financial impacts also has an, uh, a kind of overriding uh, impact touch on, on, okay. our, on our financial strength. Okay, I know that, I mean, talking about financial strength, you are, uh, you have, you've been, the bank has been in talks with potential investors to recapitalize the bank, if I'm correct. I know there was one earlier this year that didn't exactly pan out as you had hoped, but I know that you're also in talks with other investors. What can you tell us in terms of how talks have progressed so far and do you see light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, if I tell you the main focus of our existence really is just to recapitalize the bank. The board, the management that we have today in Unity Bank, all that we are working for every day is to see to the recapitalization of Unity Bank. Okay. And um, because of some of those on the ground uh, issues of the past, we have to really deal with those things. And uh, we also need to also delight our investors, really. And we need to de-risk the entire balance sheet. Yes, those actions have been taken, and we are now having a kind of good pusher in terms of our financial position to attract investors. So today we've talked to so many prospective investors and we have quite a lot of people that have, that have expressed their delight in uh, bringing their uh, investment to Unity Bank. So that we have achieved. So when should we expect, I mean, how far have you gone with yeah, talks? And because of regulations and some other things, so we might not be able to give you the details of some of those investors okay, yeah. and some of those agreements that we have uh, you know, put ourselves together into. So, but what I can assure you is that we are in a very uh, tough talk with them, and uh, we're almost closing. So just crossing the eyes and dotting the teeth. Those are the, mm. dotting the eyes and crossing the teeth. Those are the things that are left. Okay, and, uh, so very soon, very soon, we're going to close soon. that uh, process. Okay. We also need to know that you know, at a time like this, it's also a very challenging time in our uh, economy as well. We are going to election next year, quite a lot of things. But for those who have really partnered with us in terms of this uh, capital recapitalization project, we have framed up our program. And irrespective of what happens in uh, the national economy, we are making okay. progress. Can you tell us this then? If you, I mean, I, I understand why you cannot name names, but can you tell us this? Are there uh, 
international foreign investors and local investors or a mix of, of both? It's a combination of the, of, of the two. Of both local yeah. and foreign investors. Exactly. Now, I mean, earlier we were talking about, or at the top of the issue, I did mention, I mean, turnaround strategy. So okay. is that something you can talk to us about or until this deal is wrapped no, no, up? No, 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 we are, we are pursuing quite a lot of things, as it were. So what, is, what uh, is that one key strategy that you, you're employing or implementing now that you feel will guarantee growth going, going forward? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, and for giving this audience as well. You know, for Unity Bank, with a cup of uh, the, new management, the new management, as well as the support of the board, and the kind of energetic workforce that we have in creating a kind of transformation project, project for Unity Bank, we've been able to really, you know, create a lot of values, though not visibly seen as we see, because more like an incubating strategy. So we try to really put a lot of things, all those areas uh, that will galvanize growth in terms of creating a kind of robust enterprise risk management framework, okay. putting, setting that one in motion. Also, we need to, uh, we're also putting a lot of things uh, in terms of deploying the little uh, um, low-hanging fruit in terms of deploying some little technologies yeah. to really amaze uh, some of the okay. benefits so, so of the Okay, we're actually almost all uh, out of time. Uh, this, is, it, is, it, is there a timeline for this strategy? Oh yeah, those strategies are the ones that we have achieved okay. in terms of, you know, we are turning yes. around the entire okay, process. Okay, so going forward, for the ones that are still remaining, how many more, what, what is the timeline? Two, three, oh, no, four it, years? The strategy is ongoing, so you okay. need to revalidate, you need to do all the things. As events in the market are changing, you're also you know, responding mm. very quickly so as to delight our customers and making sure that, look, the best of banking is, you know, services are you're also, you know, getting, you know, into their own uh, coffee, wherever they are. So we do that in just to make sure that, look, the best is achieved to our customers and the, the institutional uh, sovereignty is also preserved. Okay. So those are the things. Kolawale, thank you so much. And